start recording, boom this, warm up a little bit, and then bang. What's going on? You did on? press start recording, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that in. <laughs> Um, what's going on guys? Gast here and with me is... What's up guys? I'm Phoenix Master One and today we're going to be doing the Clarice Inferno battle. Yeah, so uh, funny thing, me and uh, Phoenix Master were trying to figure out OBS and if all went well and this is recording in 60 FPS, then this is recording <laughs> in 60 FPS and that's a good, that's a good, that's a good improvement from 30 <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i actually muted blue stack so you can't hear anything one sec i actually muted blue stack so okay now we can hear it. so i didn't even know how i didn't notice that but yeah we've been uh trying we've been plugging away at obs for a while uh phoenix master has been very uh helpful and uh very um what's the word very nice in cooperating uh, and being a guest in this video, we have a we have very different hours. Uh, in fact, you woke up just recently. <laughs> yeah, I woke up at 4 a.m. for this. You woke up at 4 a.m. for this, man. I appreciate that. That's big. That's big on you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for that. No problem, man. I'm I'm an early riser, so that's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm getting there. Makes that still makes fun. Like the 4 a.m. is like next level early riser. <laughs> like that's big. That's a big early rise. Um, my early rising is like 7 a.m. So you're you're killing it. Anyone <laughs> anyone would love to hire you. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah. So I uh, I yesterday I spent. Uh, many stamina potions. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out Clarice Infernal Battle uh, with F2P units. Um, and Phoenix, you did this when it first came out, like months ago. Um, yeah, with like Male Robin. With Male Robin, yeah. Um, so that was before you. You told me that was kind of before you really started getting into doing F2P stuff. So. Do you intend to try to do this once more, just you know, as a as a challenge to yourself? Yeah, probably. I, I did try with Black Knight. It did work out pretty well. I tried Black Knight, Camus, Clarice, and Olivia. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the Black Knight. Um, I wasn't even looking at guides, and Black Knight is just amazing for this because he's he like he can he has like he has a check for like five of the units in the map, so he's really good for that. Now for my strategy. Uh, I actually can get rid of shove because I don't need shove anymore. Um, so what I my strategy was, oops. Um, so my team, my composition for this battle was, uh, I have a Henry who is as green as green can be. Uh, he has no inheritance. I gave him quick into pulse because he'll need to proc Ignis at a very specific point. Uh, I don't know about you, Phoenix, but. He is a pain in the ass to train. Oh, oh my god, he hits like a bad noodle. <laughs> yeah, he's training him is a pain. He's such a pain. He's so slow. He can't hit, and he can't even like deal with other mages because his res isn't that good. Like, yeah, he's Tra like, yeah, training him up is like equivalent of teaching a grandparents how to uh, work on the internet. It's like <laughs> painful, it's and you do not want to do it. You don't want to do it. It's really painful. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it was a pain in I the guess, ass. I guess you could use Crystal to level him up. That's what I do for like these low attack. Yeah, that's what I do. Units, like yeah. Matthew and Henry. Yeah, I used a lot of red crystals on him. Um, anyway, so I have a, I have Alyssa who is, uh, I gave her four to five to fortify defense. Um, so she's pretty standard. Um, I really think re rehabilitate has to be the best staff heal. Best assist. Yeah, definitely. Heals. It's the best one. Yeah, that's this is just amazing. Like it beats out everything. In fact, it feels like rehabilitate. If, this, if there was like a tier list for for assist staffers, rehabilitate would just be like SS, and everything else would be like yeah. fucking. I mean, like uh, what's the other one that Clar uh, Clarine has? Um, uh, it's Martyr, I think. Yeah, Martyr's decent. Martyr, I feel is good for like Tempest Trials. 
Yeah, and then there is recover, mend, uh, reconcile. Yeah. Um, so this one, I got, I used Obero, which I was really excited to use because uh, the only thing I gave her was hit and run, which I, which was, uh, I mean, every, like, of course, you know, when you do these, like, F2P strats, like, every movement is, ex is like, specific and with a purpose. Yep, yep. Like, everything is very calculated, and I don't know about you, but it takes trial and error for me, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a while, actually. Yeah, and uh, Black Knight, he has the, he had the most SI. I had to give him Vantage. Uh, I had to give him at least one Vantage and, and one Threatened Speed because um, fucking the Water Sweeps? God, those are annoying. Water Sweeps. Yeah, is, those are annoying skills. Yeah. You, you, never, you, didn't, you don't expect them to be annoying, but they are annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess that... I like if we can use like Phantom Speed Sacred still, but they're like too fast, mm -hmm. I think. I've never actually used Phantom Speed. I don't even know what that is. It's it's really bad. It's actually the most worthless sacred seal ever. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, it basically helps you if you have got a vent sweep or water sweep skill, or if your enemy has that. So it helps you versus that and gives you plus five speed, like uh, when calculating that skill particularly. Okay, so you de you need to have you need to be like this guy <laughs> or this guy to do it to use Phantom Speed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Actually, we could use a uh, Phantom Speed Sacred Seal on Black Knight because Black Knight will be able to use that. Oh, neat. Okay, so uh, if that ninja is not too fast, <laughs> that is. <laughs> um. So what I do, what I did was I uh, what like I saw a lot of videos who that like they really just went aggressive and like broke down this wall and stuff, and that was not working out for me. So what I did was I took my sweet time, and I like choo choo trained to the very end Understood. Oh. So I, this, this yeah th that's the best thing about these maps because the enemies don't move until you like hit them yeah until you do something do um okay. yep. so what i first did was like, oh, God. but on the walter map i think enemies still like approached you regardless yeah. if you initiate a combat or not yeah they were they went all out <laughs> um yeah. so I do this first, I do this. I'm trying to remember, this was like last night when I was really tired. So yeah, this, so what I'm doing for this is basically Henry and Black Knight are just gonna tank everything. I'm actually gonna turn animations on. Um, yeah. So, man, the enemies love Savage Blow. <laughs> yeah, they love. They love that passive damage. Okay, I fucked up already. Something something Onward. went something went wrong. Uh I was supposed to get that uh, dub. That guy was supposed to be dead already. What happened? You got it! Oh, uh, I think. What did it what just Oh, so Black Knight was supposed to kill that guy, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah, why didn't he get that kill? He's supposed to have hold on. Well Henry needs to have quick impulse. Here I go. Oh no, he's not. No, 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 never mind. Because he has vantage. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of yeah. like what I did before. So no, this is we're still, we're still good. Um, so then after I, um, I bring you down, oh. heal you, uh, have you stick here, and then have you, um, do that. Get the rally going. So yeah, the Black Knight yeah, is so good for this. Yeah. Oh my god, Clearly still does damage after rally defense <laughs> and steady stance? Yeah. <laughs> You're mine. Not a lot though. Not a lot though. Yeah. The poison strike. So I proc yeah, the vantage. So I... Yeah, that's why you need vantage, I guess, for yeah. this guy. Yeah. Um So then I bring him back here. And then I get this heal, and he gets 35 HP. And you're, I think you're gonna laugh at this. You're gonna laugh at how ch how close he dies here. Is he gonna live with like one HP? Yeah, he's gonna live with one HP. <laughs> so um, he still can't do damage, but this armor slayer guy is gonna deal literally 29 damage. God, I wonder if they're gonna be introducing like some heavy spear lance units because Black Knight is a free-to-play unit, and he just annihilates these kinds of maps. 
alone. Yeah, he's a like free to play is getting really easy to manage now because there are just so many good units. Yeah, if only they could do the rerun of Camus and Sander. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I need to. I need to get. I have to get a. I have to get a Camus to begin with. Um, because I still don't have one. <laughs> Um, so the next forever, <laughs> yeah, for Xander. Yeah, he's been gone for a while, and they brought Narsin they're like, like just three let times. Me... <laughs> yeah, they're like, let's just put Narsin like ten times and give them away like as an event, because people need Narsin. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, now they have a plus four Narsin. So in this, so in this one, my the only step was just getting Black Knight back to full HP. Um, and he's going to tank the world once more. Yeah, fight the world. All alone. Yeah, he... So he needs to get doubled here. So, he needs to get doubled. Um... Because he yeah, needs to, so he he needs he to have a... It, no, it's actually so... Lissa can heal him at a point where he can tank the blue mage. So what I did before, oh, right. yeah. So I tried to evade the, uh, I tried to evade getting not like I tried to evade not being able to counterattack by giving him a by giving her hone speed, so he would have more than 35 speed. But then he doesn't get doubled by this guy because this guy has 39 speed at base. So then if he can't, if he does, if he does, if he, if he sorry, if he only hits one time, um, then I can't heal as much because. Yeah, it, because of rehab. Yeah, rehab. So what I do now is Oboro just sneaks in here. Gets that kill. And she has hit and run, so she fucks off. <laughs> um, and then I get this heal. Now, yeah. I heal 40. And that's all I need. And if I could, if I only got hit once there, I would heal like 31 HP. I would only, I would only have 31 HP, which means I would die from this guy. But now that I have 40, I'll actually live. Um, so that's there, and then I end the turn here. So for some reason, this guy just wants to stay here and not kill a Boro. So he'll deal 38 damage. And that ninja can't fight me back. The ninja can't fight the Black Knight. So the ninja's gonna go for a yeah, Boro, and or the, the ninja's just gonna float there. Not not attack a Boro, because she, she um, left. So what I do now... Yeah, she's too far. Yeah, she's too far. So a Boro gets this. Uh, yeah, so this happens. She goes and then Henry just sneaks in. He just sneaks in to get this oh one. Oh my god, Ignis. that clutch Ignis. <laughs> yeah, he just sneaks in for the clutch Ignis. <laughs> um and then I don't heal. I don't heal him. Because if I do, then this guy's the advantage range. Yeah, this guy can't get out of advantage and he gets defiant. So I do this, I get this hit. And of course, he's gonna, like, um, now I gave him threatened speed. So now, uh, even though I got doubled from that red sword guy, I threatened this guy's speed because he was, he went, he walked right into my range. So now he, his, uh, I can actually proc my vantage because I'm not getting wa water swept. And I had to give her, uh, hit and run. So when she hit there, she dodged because otherwise he would go and fucking kill her. Um, yeah. So now, I just end the turn, he's going to do his thing, and then I'm going to proc vantage and get the kill. Oh my god, 54 damage. That guy has got Blade Tome. Yeah. Well, he has, I mean, Defiant and, like, Black Knight has awful res, first of all, <laughs> and he has Defiant yeah. attack, so, and he was at 2 HP or something, so that's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, and that's what I did. Yeah, that was awesome. That, that clutch Ignis was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's so fun trying to, like, get these really squeak, like, these totally squeaky wins. I really, I think doing the F2P stuff, I don't know about you, but, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's like, an, it's annoying to, like, figure out what units you want to use and, like, you know, trialing and erroring it all the time. But, like, once you get that combination and, you like, you work on that, like, your four units and how you strategize and stuff and you finally get it. Oh my god, it's be it's it's nice. It's yeah, it feels it's so good. satisfying. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for this ep for this video, um, I wanted to uh, cut it off on a summon session because 
Um, Dude, honestly, I was at work all day yesterday, and I was completely unaware of this of these guys just coming out of nowhere. So I, I go on my YouTube feed, and I see that you made a first impressions video, and Sage Master did like three videos about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh shit, maybe I should like do a review. And then I'm like, okay, this comes out tomorrow, and I'm really, like your video already has 20,000 views. Sage Master has accumulated like 30,000. I'm here like really late to the game. So I was just like, I'm just gonna do a roll. I'm just gonna, see you know, I, and I tried to actually like do a record a video but like I didn't know what the hell was going on this was just like I thought Olivia was doing had like throwing weapons at first but in, but she has she's like a blue tome user and I'm just like I was super confused so I just didn't even bother making a video so I just like uh oh I was, I was just like you guys have a cover <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a shot so this ooh, there's no red over the green yeah there's no reds in this banner i don't think it's too it's too yeah. green I, 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 I did my summoning session and like i got so many red stones god it's so annoying yeah i saw you got two oscars <laughs> by accident <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I, I was building up my petty person for uh shigure but of course i had to get two oscars <laughs> that guy oh my god he's gonna be the most hated unit Ooh. heroes better not be batre oh <laughs> That's rough. That hurts. I'm gonna try to go for the uh, for the clear. Yeah, Olivia. Yeah. Which one's the best? Because I didn't even look at any uh, of them. Best one is Azura and Inigo. Those two are best. Like Olivia and Shigure. Uh, kind of get like I don't know outclassed. Oh. <laughs> Hone speed, right? <laughs> yeah, home speed fodder and reciprocal aid. Okay, that was poor. I lately my Azura is like the best answer from like this banner. Yeah, well she she had I checked her attack and it's like she I like the, the impression that I got is she's like she's basically like like stat wise just a green version of her original Azura. That's kind of the impression I got just by stats alone. But obviously yeah, pretty much that that's that's right. <laughs> okay. Three reds. But she has a legendary X, so I guess that does make it better. Yeah, she definitely uh, does. And Zura. Yes, this could be it. This could be a Zura. I'm thinking about a burst. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh no. Oof. Okay. E it's fine. You might get Shigure. E Lately, I have gotten like no luck on on the Ilin on the uh, Path of Radiance banner. So this could be the lifesaver. No, it's please. <laughs> oh, oh. At least you get desperation and iceberg, I guess. Yeah, I guess desperation is nice, but yeah, not a not a good, you know, not a good roll. <laughs> yeah, not a good time. So you know, it's pretty uneventful. But um, I'll tell you what, I in my free summon, I got another Robin, another male Robin. And I have so many of these guys, and I'm so close to getting, um, ten of them. Like, I have so, I think I have like eight right now. If I go to Origin, scroll. Oh, like, that's good. Yeah, I have like a bunch of Robins. Okay, hold on, where are they? Where's my Robin? It's right above these. Yeah. So I have a uh, plus two Robin, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So wow, do I need Plus nine? One? If you, yeah, I need one more Robin, eh? Uh, you need just one more, and you need to upgrade these. Uh, yeah, that's that's to. another issue. I have to get, I have to spend four thousand or no, uh, eight thousand feathers. Yeah, I'll I'm do these guys. I'd do it. Fuck. <laughs> I love this. Robin, Robin is actually so good. I love yeah. using Robin, man. He's so fun to use. Yeah, he's so fun. He can like. Do a lot of stuff in uh, Tempest Trials and these special maps. Yeah, I really like this combination. Uh, sorry, no, like the the Raven and Adept combination. Yeah, so it good. sucks because it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, who do you like? Just general question for you. Uh, who's your favorite unit to use? Like, sh like uh, top my... top five favorite. Okay. 
top five favorite units to use and your favorite okay. team to send like in the arena or favorite team to just use in general for fun the funnest team you have shoot uh my favorite actually team is uh my armor emblem team it's actually <laughs> really fun to use like all armored units but uh yeah that, that's really fun and my top five most used and like most fun units are reinhardt of course <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Reinhardt and uh, Celica. Celica is also really fun to use with Ragnarok. Um, and then I've got Kagero. I also love using Kagero actually. That's cool. So that's my yeah, that's my top three. And for four and five, I've got um, I, I use Priscilla a lot, like a healer <laughs> in Tempest Trials and for training. So I use her a lot, and she's also pretty fun. And she can give Hone Cavalry boost to Reinhardt and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then my fifth one has to be. Uh, Black Knight with steady breath. <laughs> yeah, he was born to. He was like steady breath and um, distant counter. Black Luna. It's and Black yeah. Luna. Like he's just he's meant to just um, take like get most of the time just get hit once and then he'll just just totally tear up. He tears. Yeah, up. he's he good. tears up. Like but, people. Yeah, people didn't believe that they would give this kind of monster. Like for free. Yeah, that's like that's like the crazy thing I was alluding to before. Like, you have a free Brave Lin, who is like just fantastic as a free-to-play unit. Um, has smoke, which is really cool. Mobile, high res, just you know she slays it. Um, and then you have the Black Knight, who is an, another, probably even like, in terms of like just being as uh, probably the best free-to-play unit. Yeah, like, def definitely, he's very reliable. Yeah, he can. He covers a lot. Good. Like literally, his only weakness is his res. But like, fucking, of yeah. course it is. <laughs> like he's an <in> armor. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got an armor blessed by goddess. But if a lolly sneezes in his in his direction, like he dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I find I don't know what's coming up next for another free to play unit, but but like, you can catch. It's you gonna can be just, Alvis, I think. You think you think Alvis is Oh yeah, true. Grand Hero Battle Alvis, which is gonna be super yeah. interesting. Armored mage, dude. I don't think no, see, I don't think he's gonna be an armored mage. I don't think he's gonna be an armored mage. I think he's gonna be a red mage, and he's probably gonna have some stupid thing like dire dire flame. He's gonna get some bullshit like that. <laughs> well but isn't Fall of Flame his like uh, personal tome? Like it, it is Fall of Flame, Vol Flame, Fall of Flame is his personal tome. I don't remember what the effect is. Um, I think it's just like a fucking beasty fire to- now I have to look it up, because I'm really curious. No, no, it, it gives you attack speed and something else. I think it gives you attack speed and, um, uh, res or defense, I remember. Hmm. Uh, something like that. I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> Vol flame. Yeah. <laughs> Vol flame fire emblem heroes. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, that's not a, like, that's not a thing. It will be soon, though. If they make him like a red mage, I would be so disappointed. I like Alvis so much. Like, yeah, so, armored mage would be insane. Uh, it would be, you know, a baron would be fucking sweet, but like, it, you, you never really know what heroes is going to do with what they have. Like, they could make him a baron. Um, but anyway, the Vol Flame, it grants his wielder plus 10 magic, 10 defense, and 10 res. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, I guess that could try to like Ragnarok boost but it gives him uh, defense instead of uh, speed something like that mm -hmm. um, yeah the only issue I like you can't really get you can't really talk about you know why you, why I don't think he'd be a Baron because that's getting in the spoiler territory which I guess not I mean everyone knows Arbus yeah. is like the bad guy in, in FE4 <laughs> yeah yeah he memed he memed out Sigurd pretty hard <laughs> Yeah. Best barbecue ever. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really stoked. Uh, you know, I'm okay. So, I have a, I have a funny question for you. Um, after we made our video, did you get people like really, really pissed at you? Because people were really <laughs> pissed at me. But like, I remember there was a comment, and it was like, it was it, you know, it was when we when it, when the video went up, and it was like, um, like. How could you like you two disgust me? Um, yada <laughs> yeah, yeah. yada yada. That, like they were like <laughs> that guy had a Mewtwo profile picture. I remember. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Did I show you that comment? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Did you get anything like that? Like, just... yeah, yeah. People said that I cannot trust anything that comes out of your mouth anymore. Yeah, it was the funniest thing, man. Oh god, that like, was such a only for five days though, because internet has got uh, the memory of a goldfish. So like, exactly. people forget that. Exactly. Like people were so upset, and then it was just like you're gonna, you're not gonna care. Like something's gonna happen in Heroes that's gonna completely distract you. And then, and then like Brave Heroes came like the next week. So then, poof. <laughs> But yeah, the real thing is coming up soon, and I'm like, I'm pretty stoked. I really want to see what they actually do with um, with those FE4 characters. That's going to be a treat. Hopefully Sigurd has Kanto, like our version of scale. <laughs> no, I'm definitely comparing what we, what, like, what we came up with and like what, what lines I wrote down and compare it with what actually came out, like what was official. That would be a pretty fun comparison video to make. Yeah, I've heard honestly, a lot of, that would be pretty nice. I've heard a lot of people say, like, they don't think Deirdre is going to make it. Uh, I don't know. Like, I think she's going to make it, but she's going to be, like, Blue Julia. Hope Hopefully she's not a staff user. <laughs> well, that, that was my thing. Like, when was the last staff user in a banner? Like, in, a, like, a new unit that was a staff user? Like... Oh, uh, that, that was months ago. That was Bright Lynn. That's it. Ever yeah. since that, we didn't get any staff units. And it's for the good, actually. <laughs> like, who... Like, who wants those? Yeah. Who wants a staffer? I don't even get Brad Lynn, sadly. So, okay, oh. I so what are your impressions? Or, I know you made a video about it, but in case uh, no one else, in case some like someone in, in, who's watching right now hasn't seen what you thought of uh, these the performing arts characters, what do you think of like, you know, were you surprised that they just kind of like fucking threw that out there and they were just like, hey, we have four, we have a new banner for you guys. Like, yeah. I, and given I like, actually, and given, sorry, dancers. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh I'm bad. Oh, I was just going to say like, and given like just the unique like theme of performing arts, like what went through your mind when you saw that? I was like, oh my God, I thought dancers we're like a, an exclusive thing like they were available in a small number but now there are like seven of those because of this banner and range dancers that's insane because <laughs> um if you if you know how ai works then ai actually moves range units who do not have an assist skill before the dancer who have got an assist skill so uh in in arena people might do this like they would remove the assist skill on their brave lens and uh reinhardt and then uh like the range dancer is gonna completely dance that range unit and nuke your team so that could be a possibility, but we still do not know. It's yeah. actually insane. Yeah. But uh, these dancers actually took quite a beating because of their uh, base stat total penalty. Yeah, that's true. I, I looked at I looked at their base stats and they're and they're pretty low. But yeah, I mean, Shigure's that... stat spread is so bad. Oh, his, he, I saw I saw it and I was like, is this real? Like it was <laughs> so awful. Bad. It was so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> no bulk, no speed, nothing. He's got nothing going for him. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, I tried to get, like, I tried to do, like, the orb quests, and, like, I don't know, I can't read the AI, like, professionally, quote-unquote, because I just got owned. Like, they would just, I don't know where they're gonna dance, and they dance, and then I just get fucked. And then I, and then I, and then I lose. It's like, have, have, do, uh, do paralog whatever, and have a lance user, and have them survive, and I'm like, okay, and then, you know, someone just gets murked, because I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it becomes unpredictable because of dancers. Yeah. Um, pretty much. So, uh, I think that'll do it for us. I mean, we did the, uh, I did what I wanted to do, I, that's what I, that's what I actually, like, brought... <laughs> Phoenix on fourth for initially was just uh, like, um, just to see, you know, what I did for the, uh, for the grand hero battle. But of course I always wanted, like, I think, you know, I think the community sort of like, they definitely look at you for someone to give advice <laughs> and your Twitter is always bumping about, um, you know, helping, helping your community and stuff like that. So I think we, I think it was really cool to ask you a few questions and get some insight on how you, uh, enjoy heroes and how you like to play. So thanks a lot for coming on. Thank I, I really, no, seriously, man, I really appreciate you like waking up. Uh, that's really big. I really appreciate that. I, I, that makes me very happy to, to know you're, you're, you're that kind of guy. So I'm really thankful for that. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm actually honored to be uh, with you with hair because <laughs> your support science videos and like all of those is so high quality. 
Like, it's amazing. Thank you. That we have people <laughs> like you for uh, Fire Emblem community. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Because I think that our community is still pretty small compared to Pokemon, Smash Bros, and stuff like that. Oh, of course. Of course. No question. <laughs> We're very small. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're definitely getting bigger, man. Um, you know, I, f I mean, that's... that's we they're, Like, the Fire Emblem is just, like, just growing. It's just yeah. growing so, so fast. Like, oh, it's amazing. I, actually, it's great to see. Games. And like, I mean, you, 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 like, you must have been a fan of Fire Emblem for like, for a long time before it got huge. Uh, and now yeah. it's like, and now it's just, it's so big. And there was that, there was that, that weird point in like the early two. 2010s where like no one knew what the fuck was going on with the franchise like shadow dragon came out and we were like what is this game like what um and then yeah it was this really weird really weird time and like fe12 didn't even come out uh to the west and we were just like it's over it's, it's fucking over <laughs> yeah it was looking grim like i was so sad when i heard that awakening was gonna be the final game yeah, can you imagine? Can you imagine if this guy's story was the last thing we've ever seen? <laughs> oh my god. At least, like, Awakening was decent uh, story-wise compared to Fates. Fates was, like, a mess. Fates was... I, I, I know, I was, you know, when I was doing the Cordelia support science, I was speaking to someone who was very, very well-versed in Awakening and all the characters and stuff like that, and, and, and he said something pretty... Um, to, to Awakening's credit, and to the, uh, the, uh, discredit, for lack of a better term, to Fates, Awakening's story might have been, like, silly in, in some aspects, but at least it stuck to that theme of, like, camaraderie and, like, companionship yeah. and, like, you're, you're stronger together type thing, and it always went back to that theme. Fates' theme was, like, you're making this decision or whatever. And then it's like it really puts a lot of weight on that on the whole theme of like blood and bond for like the first six chapters yeah. and then like the rest of the game is like things that happen <laughs> yeah. and revelation the is other just side, like hates you yeah the other side straight up just doesn't like you and then things happen and then in revelation they both hate you for a while and then things <laughs> happen and then everyone loves you in the end it's like the theme just goes poop it's poop it's poop after chapter six <laughs> So yeah, that you're right, actually. To Awakening's credit, uh, it definitely held strong to its theme. Uh, stronger than yeah, other. Yeah, that feeling was games. really strong. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, especially at the time where, uh, like, uh, on the final chapter where Grimal just traps Robin, mm -hmm. uh, that was amazing. And all of his friends like called his name and stuff. That was pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely, I mean, I don't know about that scene in particular because I found it pretty hammy, but it was, you know, it, it's still like, it, it was sort of like the, uh, um, it's still stuck with that theme and it's still like, I mean, yeah. I mean, Awakening. It was definitely cheesy. It was, oh yeah, but exactly. Still. It was definitely cheesy, but you know, it, it, it really played into its, into its whole overall theme. And that was kind of like the climax of like, we're all strangers and stuff, but now we're like fighting for you. Don't die on me, Robin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you die on me, I will kill you. Yeah. That. I, I think Maribel says that. Yeah. yeah. Or Tharja, I think. That's a classic. That's a classic movie line. <laughs> Don't die on me, or I'll kill you. Yeah. Which uh, game do you think should be remade next? Like the ooh. older ones. Um. That that that's a trick question. <laughs> uh, I would say. I th personally, I think. It would be best if they remade like FE9 and brought that oh. back into the forefront because um, it's hard, very hard to access right now. Ike is yeah. the most popular character in the entire franchise, um, and you know, I know I don't personally like Ike that much. I don't personally like the Black Knight that much, but. From a, you know, storytelling, you know, like a fundamental story aspect and like gameplay is decent. Um, the gameplay is, you know, it's, I'd say it's pretty decent. It's it's notoriously easy. You've played FE9. Yeah. Um, so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how I've easy it is. 
<laughs> um, so from like from like would the fans be happy aspect i think fe9 like their cast is fucking amazing they, they have, i think fe9 has the second best cast in the franchise oh yeah absolutely amazing characters yeah <laughs> um but people were mad like how less like so many like heroes didn't have too many fe9 or fe10 units like radiant dawn like only sonaki is the radiant dawn unit to be honest like yeah that's and it. she was a weird addition like she was a weird, she just came in a she came in like the siblings banner like what are you doing here Sanagi? she's like she didn't even know what she was doing she was just there <laughs> she was just like i don't know why i'm here yeah but yeah that was a that yeah, was a, she didn't even have a sibling in that banner <laughs> no she was just in the banner like it was her and klein and like i think loxus and eldigan uh, eldigan and reinhardt and olwen was that it i don't remember but it was yeah it six was, units. It was a weird, it was a weird addition. Um, but yeah, yep. so in terms of in terms of that, I think personally, uh, I would like to see. Um, this is gonna sound kind of silly, but FE8 being remade um, because uh, I love that cast. I want to see everyone in HD, and I want to see. Um, the MacGuffin story retold, <laughs> and like all the character interactions, like do so. Like th that cast has my has my favorite characters in it, um, or FE Seven being remade. But that's a personal thing. Probably it's not going to happen because it's already accessible enough. Yeah, FE Seven I think is still playable. Like it's it's still good. Like Game Boy, uh, yeah. you can play that on emulator. It's still good. Like the animations are amazing. Mm -hmm. So what about you? Uh, I think they should remake Genealogy of the Holy War. I think that would be really nice. I, or yeah. Binding Blade, because Binding Blade didn't come out in uh, US. Uh, it did so not. It that did would not be nice. Out. And Roy is super popular. Yep. Yeah. Roy is definitely extremely popular. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's F so weird. Like, FE7 came out, and then you do not have, like, the continuing of that story in English. So, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like that. Yeah. Did you ever play FE5? Uh, yeah, I played... You played Thrasia. Yeah, I played Thrasia. That, that was that was insane. Yeah, I I recently started playing it because um, I'm my next support science is on a uh, is on a Thrasia character, and holy shit, was it ever ahead of its time? Like, just yeah, definitely was. But some of the things are quite dumb on on that game. Like <laughs> the difficulties sometimes the spikes. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely get that. But like the things that just, it, the things it pulled, like with like the mechanics it introduced and just like the way they utilized them, like, like in chapter three, remember the chapter three with like you have to rescue the four village kids. Yep. Like, rescue was introduced in FE five, and like the first, in like the first four chapters, because you know two X is one, um, or is it three? Yeah. Chapter one, two, two X, and three. You're you you're you're yeah. you're doing a rescue mission, like it's it's just I don't know. It just seems like, and like the 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 Thracian fog of war was super interesting. Um, oh yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, it was. Just, I actually like the fog of fire um, mechanic. I wish they. Like, you like that? that? A lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate that mechanic. Uh, <laughs> I really like that. Even advanced wars have that. Um, <laughs> That was, I like that actually. That makes online play a bit better, I think. Ooh. Because Fates Online was a disaster. Like, I <laughs> wish we had Fog of War. <laughs> Fates Online. Well, the issue, yeah, the issue, cool. the issue with, uh, with like, uh, like, fi like, that, like, those kind of games online is that, like, who's gonna swing first? Right? Yeah, it's like, too, too much luck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I it, it, it just the, the, that notion just doesn't like a, a competitive fire emblem just doesn't really seem very s smart. Um, it's never getting competitive. It's so luck based. Yeah, yeah fuck that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you're definitely right. It definitely did things way early for its time. Like even Gaiden did like things way too early for its time. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was. It was definitely like those two games were definitely ahead of the curve, and I'm really enjoying playing Thrasia. Uh, a lot more than the FE4, um, 
like FE4 is I can't handle FE4 for like more than 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I actually four over uh, Thrasia. No, I can't. I like FE4 is it's it's very F see. <laughs> FE4 isn't like it doesn't like throw bullshit. I mean, it kind of throws bullshit at you, but like, uh, it. How do I explain it? It's like everything plays the same in FE4. Yeah. But FE5 is throwing so much random whatever at you. Just like one day you're playing, you know, you're doing a fog of warm path. The next one you're rescuing kids from this guy who's being whatever. And then you're like, you're, yeah. you're micromanaging who you're going to capture and stuff. And like, that's how you get your inventory. And it's just like, so like mechanically, yeah. like, it's like concentrated it's, and like, what it's is very refreshing actually those things. <laughs> yeah. And then like, you, like, yeah. And then you have FE4, which is just like cantoing all over the place and Sigurd just soloing <laughs> for the first five chapters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's basically it, in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, so I'm actually... It's 1.30 a.m. on my side, and I have a fitness class in the morning, so I got a peel. Um, anyway, uh, Phoenix Master, thanks a lot for joining once again. Really appreciate it. It was great talking to you. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a really great, great watch playing this back, so... <laughs> Uh, guys, if you haven't yeah, if you haven't um, checked out Phoenix's channel, uh, he does really in depth, really like spot on heroes content analysis. If you haven't heard of him, uh, check him out. If you have and you haven't subscribed to him, do it. He's a great dude. Really appreciate you coming on. Really, really appreciate you waking up for this. And yeah, guys, <laughs> thanks, uh, man, for having me. Yeah. So with that being said, we'll catch you guys next time. Deuces. Alright, that was... That I, I think that's a 40 minute video. <laughs> <laughs>